I loved my father. I swore I would never be a man like him, but I loved him and he was in danger. What could I do? And then later, you were in danger. Our children were in danger. What could I do? You are all that I loved, valued most in the world. And now I'm losing you. I lost you anyway. You're gone. And it was all for nothing. You have to understand, I, I had a whole different destiny planned. Please, Michael, tell me. My darling, until I saw you. You know, when Johnny was first starting out, he was signed to this personal service contract from the big band leader. And as his career got better and better, he wanted to get out of it. This man out there, he won't give it to me, the head of the studio. Now, Johnny is my father's godson. And my father went to see this band leader. Godfather, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And within an hour, he signed a release for a certified check of $1,000. Well, how did he do that? My father made him an offer he couldn't refuse. That's my family, Katie. It's not me. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mikey. Yeah? You wasn't on the telephone. Who is it? That's some girl. Hello, Kay. He's good. He's gonna make it. I love you. Huh? I love you. Michael? Yeah, I know. Tell me you love me. Yeah, I can't talk. Can't you say it? Yeah, I'll see you tonight. Hey, Mikey, why don't you tell that nice girl you love her? I love you with all of my heart. If I don't see you again soon, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Can I go with you? No, okay. There's gonna be detectives there. People from the press. Well, right in the cab. I don't want you to get involved. When will I see you again? I don't know. I thought I got all you guinea hoods locked up. What's the check paying you to set up my father, Captain? <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do? Nice college boy, huh? Didn't want to get mixed up in the family business? Huh? Now you want to gun down a police captain? Why, because he slapped you in the face a little bit? Huh? What do you think, this is the army where you shoot him a mile away? You gotta get up close like this, and bada bing, you blow their brains all over your nice Ivy League suit. It's as cold as they come. Impossible to trace, so you don't worry about Prince Mike. I put a special tape on the trigger and a butt. Louis' restaurant in the Bronx. Anybody know this joint? Yeah, sure, I do. It's perfect for us. A small family place, good food, everyone minds his business. It's perfect. Pete, they got an old-fashioned toilet. We might be able to take the gun behind it. All right. Mike, you go to a restaurant, you eat, you talk for a while, you relax. You make them relax. But then you get up and you go to the can. Or better still, you ask for permission to go. I have to go to the bathroom. I frisked him. He's clean. Don't take too long. And when you come back, you come out blasted. I frisked a thousand young farmers. Ma vado su per la montagna. Oh. E che sei rimasto col pelo d'un fulmine. Benedizio Dio onnipotente, se padre, se di figli e di spirito sono santi. Amen.
thought you weren't going to become a man like your father. That's what you told me. My father's no different than any other powerful man. <sighs> any man who's responsible for other people. Like a senator or a president. Do you know how naive you sound? Why? Senators and presidents don't have men killed. Oh. Who's being naive, Kay? Kay, my father's way of doing things is over. It's finished. Even he knows that. I mean, in five years, the Corleone family is going to be completely legitimate. Trust me. That's all I can tell you about my business. Michael, is it true? Don't ask me about my business, Kay. Is it true? Don't ask me about my business. Michael. Hey. This one time. This one time, I'd like to ask me about my affairs. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Michael Rizzi. Is it true? Sorry about all the people today. Bad timing. It couldn't be helped, though. It made me think of what you once told me. In five years, the Corleone family will be completely legitimate. That was seven years ago. I know. I'm trying, darling. I trust you with something, Peter. Of course, Mike. Mike, you don't come to Las Vegas and talk to a man like Mo Green like that. Fredo, you're my older brother, and I love you. But don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again. Ever. Can I trust you with something, Peter? Of course, Mike. The family's making an investment in Havana. Well, that's great. Havana's great. It's my kind of town. Anybody I know in Havana? I don't know. Hyman Roth? No. Johnny Ola? No, I never met them. No. No, I never met them. It was Roth who tried to kill me in my home. It was Roth all along. He acts like I'm his son, his successor. But he thinks he's gonna live forever. He wants me out. Well, how can I help? Can I trust you with something, Fredo? Of course, Mike. I don't know. I'm in Roth. Johnny Ola. Where did, where did you find this place? Johnny Ola told me about this place. He brought me here. I didn't believe it, but seeing is believing, huh? I see it, and I still don't believe it. Old man Roth had never come here, but old Johnny knows these places like the back of his hand. It wasn't a miscarriage. It was an abortion. An abortion, Michael. Just like our marriage is an abortion. Something that's unholy and evil. I didn't want your son, Michael. I wouldn't bring another one of your sons into this world. It was an abortion, Michael. It was a son, a son, and I had it killed because this must all end. I know now that it's over. I knew it then. There would be no way, Michael, 
No way you could ever forgive me. Not with this Sicilian thing that's been going on for 2,000 years. <laughs> You won't take my children. I will. You won't take my children! You're my children, too. Taking care of me? You're my kid brother, and you take care of me? Did you ever think about that? Huh? Did you ever once think about that? I'm your older brother, Mike, and I was stepped over. That's the way Pop wanted it. It ain't the way I wanted it! I can handle things. I'm smart. Not like everybody says. Like dumb, I'm smart and I want respect. Cato. You're nothing to me now. You're not a brother. You're not a friend. I don't want to know you or what you do. I don't want to see you at the hotels. I don't want you near my house. When you see our mother, I want to know a day in advance so I won't be there. You understand? Mikey. It's my family, Katie. It's not me. At this moment, I feel no love for you at all. I never thought that would ever happen. Did you ever think about that? Huh? Did you ever once think about that? My dear children, it is now better than several years since I moved to New York, and I haven't seen you as much as I would like to. I hope you will come to this ceremony of papal honors given for my charitable work. The only wealth in this world is children, more than all the money and power on earth. You are my treasure. Anthony and Mary, although I entrusted your education to your mother for your own best interests, you know how I look forward to seeing you and to a new period of harmony in our lives. Perhaps you might prevail upon your mother to come to this celebration and that from time to time, we can all see each other at family functions. Anyway, I remain your loving father. Adiutorium nostrum in nomine Domini. Qui fecit Dominum.